The Sugarbush Foundation was started by my parents, Don and Marianne Flournoy, to be a supporting organization of the Ohio University Foundation. We fund collaborations between Ohio University and regional nonprofits in the area of economic and environmental sustainability. Not everyone looks at waste as an asset, but we looked at it as an untapped resource. If you just wouldn't throw it away, you could repurpose those things that were going in the waste stream into other products that could be sold or used, and in the process, clean the environment and create local jobs. The Sugarbush Foundation agreed from the beginning that we would walk at least 10 years with the Zero Waste Initiative because if you have something big that you're trying to accomplish, like changing the way a region deals with its waste stream, you need a long time to see that kind of transformational impact. If you want culture change, if you want infrastructural change, these things take time. One of the really unique things about Southeastern Ohio is that there's such a strong uh, connection between the local government, uh, the nonprofits, including the Waste Initiative, community members, and the university. The big key where the Zero Waste Initiative has come in as basically the facilitator to pull together all of the various uh, players in that initiative. Move Out has been a growing process over the last 20 years to try to divert as much from the landfill as possible. Last year, we were able to collect and donate over four tons of food, over 4,000 items of clothing, and roughly 28 tons total materials. One of the most important lasting impacts of the Zero Waste Initiative is that uh, they serve as a way to build the culture of sustainability. And particularly from the university's point of view, we're working with young people that are really establishing habits now that they're gonna take with them for the rest of their lives. But just a few move-ins ago, um, I was at one of the uh, dormitories on campus and there's huge efforts to uh, recover the cardboard and the styrofoam and the other packaging materials that get created when thousands of students are moving back into town and into the university. Well, at this particular dorm, um, you know, we had these literal mountains of cardboard and me and my student crew were there uh, managing that. And a new student, a new incoming freshman, literally as he's adding his box to this pile of cardboard, he says, I guess bobcats really do recycle. And for me, that was almost a paradigm moment where like the, the efforts were all paying off. When we're all working towards a common goal, you know, you are able to create efficiencies that you might not get otherwise. Something that helped the AOZWI come together and stick was the Zero Waste Action Planning process. Over 20 different organizations were involved, as well as nearly 200 citizens. Some of it seemed like pie-in-the-sky dreams. And um, to just look now and see that we have a single stream materials recovery facility um, and we have a business that's recycling event waste across the country um, and that we're increasing our diversion rates in Athens and Hocking County. They've more than doubled. Now here we are in 2019 and they're real and they've happened. Um, that is just really cool. None of that would happen though if people weren't at the table for a 10-year process to continually remind us of the goals we were shooting for um, and to see the grant opportunities or the loan opportunities to do studies and research to make sure that a materials recovery facility was viable. Um, Rural Action and the Voinovich School did that study together to show that a materials recovery facility could be sustained and then Athens Hocking Recycling Center was able to use that study to get their loan to build their facility. So the MRF, um, to use jargon, is the Materials Recovery Facility. So that's our, uh, our processing center here where we collect all the uh, co-mingled recycling and we bring it back and sort it out. If you look back 10 years ago to 2009 when our diversion rate for the Athens Hocking Solid Waste District was less than 9%, and with reference year 2017, we're up to 24.7%. That's a huge accomplishment, you know, and it took all these partners and all this work to get us here. The, the work that the initiative has, has done and everyone um, has participated in, we've, we've created a model, you know, in, in many ways that can 
be recreated in other communities. Not every community can have a materials recovery facility because the density and the populations don't support that, but how can they connect in, how can they participate? We've been really focused on Athens and Hawking County, um, but I think we'll, the, the push is going to be in the future to, to really look at Southeast Ohio more broadly. Um, and this is cross salt waste districts and, and cross county lines and, and involving a lot more communities. And um, if, if our state goal is 25% diversion, how can we get there as, um, as, as Southeast Ohio or as Appalachian Ohio? Celebration itself is a big part of the human experience, but I don't think most people realize the impact that we leave in our wake when we have these large music festivals in particular. Zero Waste Event Productions is a social enterprise which is focused on composting and recycling at events uh, across the Midwestern region and it originally grew out of rural action. You know, the partnership with the university is unique in that they were allowed us the opportunity to really explore um, what our service could look like and how it could be scaled to other events around the state and beyond. In 2013, we did three or four local events. Last year, we serviced 33 events, and this year it's looking like closer to 40, um, not just around the state, but in Pennsylvania, Illinois, Michigan, we do one in Nashville, and Kentucky as well. The demand of our service has grown to the point where we currently have three employees and we also contract with a whole group of people um, event to event and can really provide some income which, uh, which is brought back to this community. Sugar Bush Foundation's um, concept of catalytic philanthropy transforms work on the ground in ways that are absolutely extraordinary. Long-term relationship builds trust and collaboration that, that makes other things possible. The university and Rural Action and other community partners are engaged in any number of activities together that are, I think, uh, empowered and informed and, and made more effective by uh, this long-term relationship.